Okay, on this fourth and probably last video on processing the data for the, from the fog collectors within Excel, I want to show you how we use the pivot tables to produce monthly totals. We can also produce yearly totals, daily totals, hourly totals, and even finer in some cases, depending on the data. But for the poster, I'm just going to go with monthly, and that's just a couple of steps that you'll have to do in order to make that. And so let's say you have a complete file, like this is an example of a file from the Arboretum that goes from 2015, May 2015, all the way 40, some almost 45,000 rows later to uh, just a few days ago. It actually was collected today, but we only got real data a few days ago. So the last data collected was June 25th, 2019. There are a lot of gaps in this data, mind you, and we're not going to worry about them at this point. We're just going to uh, bin the ones that we have in there to show the periods where we did have fog, and that's all we can do. That's the best we can do right now. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to just click a cell in this region here. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to select the whole thing. You go into the insert menu and you go to pivot table on the left. You click OK and it'll produce a new worksheet that has uh, this little symbol over here on the left that says pivot table and it says has some things about building a report. Now on the right it'll show pivot table, table fields. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click date and time, which is all we have, and leaders. And what you see being populated here is it shows you how many leaders were collected when the fog collector was running in 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19 for the Arboretum site. That's great. And what's kind of nice about that is if I click the 2015, it'll show the quarters. Not so much interested in quarters, but I am interested in months. And quarter two is, uh, I think, April through June. Quarter three is July through September. I don't care about quarters, though, for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of them, and it's not going to show me those. And the way you do that is you right-click on this left cell here that says any of these cells here within the pivot table. You right-click on it, and I'm going to say group. And in this group, I can tell it what things, what parameters of the dates I want to see. I don't want to see quarters, so I'm going to get rid of them. So when I click the OK, now it just shows the year and the month and how much fog I got during that month of a given year. You can see some years I have, like 2016, I, did, I wasn't running the other months. So I only have data from May through August. Well, those are the foggiest seasons, although I did miss September that year. Uh, other years I go all the way into December, and that's just the way it is. Some years I got more than other years. We're going to just work with what we have. But you see I have quite a bit from Arboretum at least quite a bit of data. And then I can uh, plot it year by year. But this is actually enough. If you do this for me, you'll produce something I can use. If you want to actually see a graph, what I do is I do a copy of what I'm interested in seeing. I'm just going to do all the years here. Let's see what, if that's what I want. I'm not sure that's what I really want. I think I can, you might be able to do an insert right from here. I prefer to do it from a different worksheet. But if I do an insert from here, let's see what happens. Yeah, you can see that's not a, that's an interesting graph right there. And that's something I could show. It shows the gaps. So it's not showing, it's not showing me zeros for the months I don't have. Although there, there's a possibility, for instance, in November, even though I have data from that month, that the fall collector was down in 2017 because I'm seeing that November is shown, but there's no data there. But in any case, this, this is a best approximation of the kind of collection we got from this site over this time period. This is really useful to me. This is something I could put a version of in the uh, poster I'm working on. I don't need that that says total, but I may change the title here. That would be useful to change the title and say something about uh, fog water. Uh, I'll just say leaders. It's going to be obvious that it's fog water. Leaders collected from Arboretum. Uh, 
that it's May 2015 through May 2019. Whoa. Don't like what just happened. <laughs> I'm going to undo that. There we go. I think. Made the graph really small there. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. So if you can produce a graph like that, that shows, the, shows me the monthly totals for each month from the beginning of whatever data set you have to the end, you'll be doing me a big service. And just make sure you get the calibrations right. Remember if I told you if I got one wrong, I'd be seeing a fraction of the fog. This almost looks like maybe I got it wrong, but I think it's bigger than a factor of 1 over 100. We just didn't get a whole lot of fog this year from the Arboretum site. I'll verify that, that I did that correctly, but I think I did. So anyway, I hope this helps you to help me uh, to get the data in a format that I can display on the posters so we can start showing all the data that we've collected over the years from all the fog collectors. Okay, contact me if you have questions. Take care.